guys. So one of the questions that I get asked most frequently from you guys is uh, like where do I shop, where do I get my clothes, where did I get those jeans or that top or what have you. So I thought I would do a video just totally um, explaining where I get every different kind of clothing, you know, tops, bottoms, jeans, uh, lingerie, panties, what have you. Um, and for your benefit, I'm going to put timestamps in the description box so that if you're only interested in where I get my jeans, you can jump ahead to that part. Or if you're only interested in, you know, where I get my lingerie, jump ahead to that part. So I'm going to start with my tops. So the place that I buy, like, the majority of my tops. So if I'm looking for just basics, like um, plain uh, t-shirts, plain long sleeve shirts, uh, sweaters, or just things that do not have graphics, things that don't, that don't really have uh, patterns, uh, stuff like that, I tend to go to Old Navy. And I buy my undershirts from Old Navy. I wear an undershirt under pretty much everything. So I have an undershirt on right now. This one actually, ironically, um, is not from Old Navy. I recently went to Kohl's and I bought a bunch of undershirts. They look like this. They are the, um, the crap, what is the brand? It's called So. Yeah, the So brand. Uh, they're not my favorite, but they do the job. So generally, I get them from Old Navy. I love having an undershirt with a bra insert. It kind of helps to just um, smooth my body out. So I always wear an undershirt. Always. Whether I'm wearing a t-shirt, a sweater, or this or that, or whatever, I always have an undershirt on. And they, like 90% of the time, they come from Old Navy. So if I'm looking for a top that's more um, maybe business type of top or I'm looking to dress up a little bit, then I will go to Torrid. I know that some people think that Torrid is overpriced, but really they constantly put out coupons. So like right now there's a coupon sitting on my desk that is, um, uh, it's $50 off of a $125 purchase. Uh, the price range for their tops tend to be, I would say like $28 to like 60, maybe 55, 60 bucks at the highest end. And generally they're around 40, $45. So uh, I will buy tops from them. They are solid quality. They are um, lasting. They are made well. Normally, uh, I would say about 80% of the things that I buy from Torrid are made quite well, but there are lots of lemons in that store. And I don't understand it, but because I love Torrid so much, I will take the risk. And if I get something that kind of sucks or has a hole or whatever, I just deal with it and chalk that one up to, you know, experience, I guess. Don't buy that kind of material or I do also buy tops from Forever 21, the plus size section of Forever 21. And um, the only thing I would say about that is buy a top, you know, it's probably gonna look cute and everything, and don't expect it to last very long. Just, you know, there's a reason that those tops are $15. There's a reason that they, I mean, the quality at Forever 21 is not torrid level, okay? so. You might be able to get a similar looking top at Forever 21 that you might have found at Torrid, but you know, it's $15 versus $50 for a reason. The quality is much uh, cheaper. Uh, so I will link a video here of me wearing a top from Torrid, and I will link a video here of me wearing a top from Forever 21, and you can see the difference. So the probably the most asked question is, where do you buy your jeans? And so I buy the Rockstar Super Skinny Jeans from Old Navy. I've worn them in multiple outfit of the days. I will put those links in the uh, bottom bar. And I buy all different colors. I buy all different, uh, you know, versions of like distressed jeans and the kinds with the zipper. And I buy every different kind of the Rockstar jeans. I have the metallic ones. I have all of them. Like I have, probably have like nine pairs. Uh, they fit well. Uh, they keep their shape. They are very comfortable. They're super reasonably priced. I always get them when they're on sale. So I pay $15 or $19 when they're normally like 30 or $35. And I always get them on sale. Those are my go-to like holy grail jeans. I can't fit any other kinds of jeans at Old Navy right. They like squish my ass down or they don't go up all the way. And I can't fit jeans from Target because they have a really skewed view of sizing there. I mean, I go in there and I go from being like a large extra large to like a 3X and it still doesn't fit right. So the majority of my jeans are from Old Navy. I have bought jeans from Torrid and I tend to wear like a 14 or a 16 at Torrid, which is ridiculous because then I go to Old Navy and I'm an 18 and I go to Target and I might as well be a 22 there because they don't know what's going on with sizing at that store. Um, so 
I, I bought jeans from Torrid, but I don't like spending 60 or $70 on a pair of jeans that are not amazing quality. Uh, so I tend to shy away from Torrid. I did buy their jeggings, um, and they were nothing special. They sag, they, my ass looks like frumpy by the end of the night. I'm not a huge fan. I also bought jeans from Forever 21 Plus, and I like them because they're super affordable. I get that one pair of like jeans, jeggings, whatever, that are like, uh, they're like $11 or $16, something like that, uh, but the quality is not there. So I buy them, I wear them a few times, and I know the quality sucks. So I will, and I can post a video of me wearing the jeans from Forever 21 here. So just be aware that the quality is not great, but the fit is pretty solid. Now, leggings. The place that I buy most of my leggings from is actually H&M. Uh, not from the plus size section because I think their plus size section sucks and I feel like their plus size section was designed by someone who was not plus size or something. Like, it feels like the reject area of H&M and I, I really hate it. I've had terrible experience there. So I buy their leggings. They do come in a size extra large. I love their just long to the ankle uh, black leggings. They come in multiple colors, but I like the black ones. And I have bought leggings from Old Navy and those are good too. But hands down, my favorite place to buy them uh, with the best quality is H&M. I also bought some leggings from Target. And again, I have to go up in size when I go to Target and the, uh, the quality is not as good. So they have different uh, prints. They have different prints at Target. So that's fun, you know, getting to play around with different prints. But at the same time, they kind of suck. Okay, so when it comes to skirts, I buy those from anywhere. I will post a video here of me wearing a skirt from Forever 21. I will post a video here of me wearing a skirt from Torrid. I have skirts from Old Navy. I have skirts from Target. I have skirts from H&M, I believe. Um, I buy skirts from everywhere because skirts fit me uh, nicely and... Uh, Especially if I buy like a skater skirt, it really just needs to fit my waist. And my main problem generally is getting something to fit my thighs because I have very big thighs and hips and stuff. So um, if I'm really just trying to fit something to my waist, then we're good to go. I have a much bigger range of places that I can shop at. When, as far as casual wear, when it comes to sweaters or like yoga pants, yoga capris, yoga shorts, I tend to buy them mostly from Old Navy. I like theirs a lot. I think they're very reasonably priced and the quality is definitely there. I've also bought some from Target and again you have to go up in size if you are going to Target because Target tends to run very small. But I like their yoga shorts and their yoga capris. I wear their little yoga like booty shorts to sleep all the time. I buy my workout gear mostly from Old Navy. I love their active line. I love their jackets. I love their full length like workout pants. I love, 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 love their active stuff. Um, their sports bras, everything. Most of my stuff, most of my workout gear is from Old Navy. Now my bras, I exclusively buy those from Target. Um, I bought bras from all sorts of different stores. I bought them, you know, from Victoria's Secret and from everywhere. Uh, but finally, like two years ago, I finally found a bra that works for me. I have relatively little boobs. As far as I'm concerned, they're quite small, uh, considering the rest of the size of my body. I don't like how small they are in, uh, like, proportion to my body. So I wear a padded bra all the time. And not just any padded bra, I'm talking like super padded. I don't know if you can tell, let me see. But like there is some serious padding in here. So the padding is on the bottom and on the side. And so it takes your boob and it kind of pushes it up. Um, so these cups are really big, even though my boobs are actually not that big. So I wear a 38C. Yeah, this is a 38C. So this is the Self Expressions by Maiden Form. Um, I have this in like lace, I have it in pink, I have it in leopard, I have it like this, I have multiples of all of them. Um, this is by far my favorite bra ever. It really, um, you know, it just kind of evens out my body and it makes my top not so little compared to my bottom, which I really like how that looks in clothes and stuff. So these are only like $18, very reasonably priced and um, they're made very well. I have not yet. I mean, I've been wearing them for years and, you know, I pick up new ones. I pick up new ones every couple of months, but I don't get rid of the old ones. Um, and I've never had a problem with the wires coming out or anything like that, but I do also treat my bras very well when it comes to washing them. 
Now, I buy panties from a couple of different places uh, because I have a big stomach, okay? I'm sure uh, some of you are working with something similar to me. So I have a big stomach and when it comes to like that area, I wanna be able to cover up that bottom area of my stomach along with, you know, my crotch and stuff. But at the same time, I don't like wearing um, like granny panties. I don't like wearing full, totally full coverage panties. I wear a lot of uh, leggings and a lot of like tight pants and stuff. And I want, um, and I don't want panty lines, so I wear a lot of thongs. I don't wear G-strings, I wear thongs. So I buy a lot of my underwear from Torrid. Because Torrid's underwear have bigger like front areas to kind of cover your stomach. And that's what I need because I have a big old belly. So this is what like the typical thong looks like from them. I have this exact thong in like, I don't even know, like probably seven of these. And I really like it because it, it has enough room up here to cover up my stomach. It's still, you know, a thong and they're still cute and stuff. I have them in purple and black and this and that and all different kinds of colors and stuff. These ones are actually brand new and um, mine are in a size one and um, they are $9.50, but I always get them at some sort of sale, like buy three, get two free, or buy two, get three free, something like that. They're always on sale. So I buy a lot of my thongs from Torrid. I do not buy the regular underwear there because they cover way too much of my butt. So these ones are also from Torrid, and you can see that, again, they have lots of space in the front for your belly. But they're also, you know, they're really cute. And they have their thong again. These ones are also new, and these were $12.50. And while we're on the topic of underwear, I actually just got a new package from Velupties, so I thought I would share this with you guys real quick. Uh, Velupties is a monthly uh, plus size panty subscription service. I did a whole video on them, which I will put in the bottom bar if you are interested. And, oh, these are cute. So these are totally my style. I like these. They're roughly booty, and they have like the black around there. They got a little bow on them, those are cute. And these are size one. These are like pink, like I'm on my period kind of panties that, yeah. These are like the kind of underwear that my mom would wear. Not to say that they're meant for like older ladies, but uh, these are the kind of underwear my mom would wear and not necessarily what I would wear. And then they sent these like black lacy ones. This is like a really low crotch. This is interesting. Um, I do wear a lot of black lacy underwear, but these ones are probably a little more full coverage than I would typically wear. But they feel like they're pretty good uh, quality. So if you guys are interested in Velupties, I will post a link to their site in the bottom bar. Another place that I buy a lot of my panties is Target. They tend to have that uh, five for 20 deal and I just, I like to go in there and buy a lot of panties. Like I have a lot of panties. I have a whole panty drawer, it's a big drawer and it's got a lot of panties in it. Um, I never want to run out of panties. I like having cute panties. I don't care if a man is gonna see them or not. I like to see that I have cute panties. So I typically buy my panties from Torrid or Target or I have them sent to me through um, something like Volupties or I've even gotten some off of Etsy before. So lingerie. Um, I've been buying lingerie since I was like 18, okay? I like lingerie. I think it's a great addition to you know the bedroom, to your sex life, or what have you. It's great for the woman. It makes you feel good. It's great for the man. It makes him think you look even like more on fire. As I mentioned, I do not have really big like boobs, uh, but the rest of my body is big. So I've always had trouble finding lingerie that fit. And I used to shop at like Torrid. Their lingerie was sized weird back in the day and I don't remember exactly how it was sized, but basically if I could find something to fit my body, it wouldn't fit my boobs. It would be huge in the boob area and I have like such little boobs that it just never worked out for me. So my favorite place actually to buy lingerie is Fredericks of Hollywood. Uh, they do have a plus size section, which I've never actually shopped in the plus size section. I shop in the straight size section. I just get an extra large. And that works for me because I have smaller boobies. So this is like one of my favorite ones. Um, I buy these kind, what are they called? <laughs> I buy this kind typically where, you know, you have something that goes on your boob and then it just kind of like forms on your body and it has the uh, little dealies. If I wasn't sick, I could tell you what these are called. What are they called? <gasps> Oh, I can't remember. You guys don't know. But um, this was this one's from Fredericks. This is one of my faves. I love it. <laughs> so I do love shopping at Fredericks for lingerie because I can find something in an extra large and the cup size will still be like for a C cup, which is what size I am, instead of being gigantic like the ones at Torrid or like the Lane Bryant or something. Um, they're just not made for me. So this is the kind where you like put it, you know, around your neck. I'm sure you get the idea and then 
you pull these up and you like tie them around your boobs and there you go. And it's a, like a little baby doll. So this one's also from Fredericks of Hollywood, also in a size extra large. Uh, they're really reasonably priced. Now the one thing I will mention is if you buy your lingerie from, say, Fredericks of Hollywood, or you're buying it from something that is very like straight sized, uh, it's very likely that it's going to come with a pair of pants. It is a G-string and the front doesn't really have much to it. You know, it's a little bit of mesh and a big ugly tag. And then, you know, a little tiny portion for your crotch which is fine, I guess, if you don't have a belly, okay? But I have a belly, so when I buy lingerie, I kinda just take these and like, meh, that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> and I go and I buy um, like a matching thong or something, something in a similar color or matching color uh, that has more to it. So like for that set, I would typically wear these underwear. So this thong, because it has um, because it has more material in the front, more to cover, like this is suitable to cover up that like bottom portion of my belly that I don't want to show and it's still super comfortable it's really stretchy so it doesn't create like um, it doesn't create any additional like rolls or anything because they're too tight and these were from Target so I buy my like matching thigh highs and uh, pantyhose and stuff I tend to buy those from Torrid because Torrid will fit my big old legs um, I have very big thighs. It's really hard for me to find stuff to just straight up fit my thighs. It's hard for me to find boots and stuff, you know? Like, I have big thighs, I have big calves, I have like big legs. That's where my weight goes. I mean, it goes all over the place, but it really goes south. Um, so, I typically buy that kind of stuff from Torrid. So I think that covers everything. I'm sorry, I know this video is probably relatively long, but I wanted to give you guys a nice, good, solid, in-depth look at where I purchased a lot of my clothes. Um, if you've ever tried uh, like hips and curves for lingerie or panties or bras or anything, let me know what you thought of that because I've always wanted to try them. Or if you've tried ASOS, ASOS Curve, um, I've never tried ASOS either. I've never bought anything from them and I'm super curious and I'm thinking I might, but I don't know if you guys have any tips or tricks in shopping with ASOS um, or uh, like Topshop or anything like that. Let me know below. Also, you may have noticed that I didn't really mention Lane Bryant, and that is because Lane Bryant tends to sell clothes that are very big on top, or at least that's how it was when I used to shop there years ago. And I haven't stepped foot into Lane Bryant in quite some time, but that's because they, they really tended to sell things that were big on top, and their pants were, uh, they just weren't meant for my body shape, and I could never find one that fit well. So, um, if you have any tips on shopping at Lane Bryant, or if they've changed recently, let me know. I would love to expand my shopping places. I love to shop. So I really hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments or you can tweet me or Instagram or uh, Facebook me. I'm on all the social networks in case you guys didn't know. I always have the links in the description box. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!